You know, if we were younger, tonight would have been perfect for causing trouble. Imagine the look on the humans' faces if they woke up to pumpkins smashed all over the kitchen. You're assuming we get far enough to smash anything. I can barely make it off the couch without needing a stretch break. Smashing pumpkins is beneath me. I prefer subtle chaos, like rearranging throw pillows. It's more sophisticated. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the humans are terrified when the pillows are slightly askew. Truly diabolical. Call the cops. We've got a menace on our hands. Unlike you two, I still take pride in my disruptions. No need for brute force when elegance will do. Elegance? I've seen you roll off this couch like a giant bag of flour. Yeah, real graceful. You hit the floor so hard, I thought it was an earthquake. It's called commanding space. Something you two wouldn't understand. <laughs> sure, Sophia. You command so much space, even the humans have to rearrange the furniture. And yet, they adore me, as they should. Well, no one's adored me tonight. I'm staying right here. Let the humans do Halloween without me. Shame. I'll pass on the tricks too risky. What happens if I pull something mid-break? A wise choice. Not everyone has a physical prowess to wreak havoc elegantly. Or the size to block a doorway like a boulder. Or the nerve to pretend knocking over one pillow counts as chaos. Don't mock what you can't comprehend. Subtlety is an art. If art means sitting still and hoping someone brings you a snack, then yeah, you're a real artist. Speaking of snacks, if the humans hand out pumpkin treats, I'm all in. You gonna waddle your way to the kitchen for that, Sophia? Or just roll on in? They'll bring treats to me, as they always do. Probably just to stop you from getting stuck somewhere again. That seems to happen a lot. It's not my fault this house is poorly designed for a figure of such exquisite grandeur. Oh, brother. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. May your tricks be lazy and your treats come to you. <laughs>